Hello, welcome to TFLP. Uh, or wait, microcasters, I guess. TFLP microcasters. Um, t I'm Lucas tonight. I am joined by our Beast Wars experts, Christian and Michael. What up? What's up, everybody? So, so Anna can't make it because she's not a true Beast Wars fan. I want her, make sure to let her know this. Yes. That I said this on the podcast. Is that on we had record. To... <laughs> and it's not because she's like busy with like class stuff or something. No, it's only because she's not a real Beast Wars fan. I'll back you up on that. Right, right. So, anyway, so... Uh, tonight, we've got some more uh, Kingdom Beast Wars. Uh, so I think we're actually finally wrapping up Wave 1, I think, right? Like, I think this is it? Is that... Yes. And also Wave 2, kind of. I'm trying to think. We do... Is there any more Wave 2 that we haven't done? Inferno. Oh, and we haven't done is uh, Ractonite, too, right? We have not done Ractonite. And mine got delayed. Yeah, I was gonna say mainly because yours got delayed. It got it was supposed to arrive on May fifth. It got bumped up to arrive today, and now it's arriving May fifteenth. So that, seems that went really well. I don't make the rules, man. Because I I don't feel like that those new characters. I mean, I it seems like they shell form a little bit more than some of the other ones. Although, the big shell former I feel like of this wave is RC. Like, I see that art, like, everywhere I just see, you know, a couple of RCs on the peg, just because everyone who wanted her probably already got her. You know, the, from Wave 1, the one I've seen hanging around the most is Warpath. Don't I, I sleep on Warpath. He's so good. Yep. I would just end up selling him, so... <laughs> Right now, at this point, G one the only G one I have is uh is some vintage stuff and some uh and the masterpiece. And that giant thing behind. Oh yeah, and that giant thing behind me. Other than that, we were talking on uh, TFLP about like finding a spot for that. Um, so it looks like yours is kind of like mine, where it's like yeah, you just kind of have it in a. Is that a temporary location or a permanent uh, for, for you, Michael? It's it's very temporary. It's standing on his own box. Um, I have this box mountain behind me still. I'm still working on dismantling. Hey, box mountain. Um, I, but I don't know where he's going to go. He's probably just going to end up on the floor, to be honest. But um. Yeah, at some point the idea is to display him in in planet mode, but I don't really want to transform him back. <laughs> so. Right. I can see that. It'll yeah. be an adventure for another day. Yeah, that's yeah. future Michael's problem. <laughs> <laughs> but but tonight we've uh, got Dinobot and Cheetor, and I feel like Cheetor we kind of have waited on him just because none of us were like that excited about reviewing this figure. Would you say Christian? That and also you and I were waiting for Netflix, or at least I was waiting for Netflix. True. Which is what I have. Well, mine hasn't showed up yet. They finally hit pulse. So mine should be here in a couple days. I was really excited about that. Like I had no idea that they were going to ship them out right away. Like when they hit pulse, so that was that was kind of nice because I have not seen the only uh, Netflix figure I saw at Walmart was this Netflix Cheetor. So, so here we are. Yeah. So I guess do we want to start with uh, with him? Like, let's so, start with Cheetor. Um, okay, let's the better of the two. No, I'm just let's start with the worst of the two. <laughs> Does it annoy you, Christian, that they did not paint the shins? No. He's I didn't fine. notice it until someone pointed it out. Hmm. I mean, now that I know, I, I might get a gold marker and, and do that, but I, you know, it doesn't bug me too much. 
I am opposite. On the Netflix one, I mean, I don't have mine yet, but I really wish his shins were more a dark blue. But it is what it is. I will take... I, I, have, a, I have a disease. I'll take any Beast Wars character and... You know, repainted in all the colors. If they re-release that again with red spots, I'll be psyched. If they release it with blue eyes, I'll be psyched, you know, because um, I got problems. <laughs> you waited a long time for it to be your time, so I, I understand. I like them. Uh, I, I, I particularly like all the weird, wacky repaints that we used to get back then. And uh, I, like I have whole shelves dedicated to them. They're they're so much fun. They're so weird. So you're hoping that there's just a gaggle of selects, you know, repaints, right? Oh, a ton. Like, free. I want Night Prowler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I want. Uh, I want this. Like I said, if they did the Fox Kids repaint of Cheetor, I would be into it. <laughs> do everything anything with this um shattered glass shattered glass especially i mean that'd be pretty cool whose colors does he use in shattered glass he's uh he's orange green i think he's he's based after the uh the really early like product oh, images the the Tigatron. Tigatron thing. yeah i think that's coming out as a toy by the way i think that's coming out in the uh, golden disc line because we're getting a normal retail tagatron so why would there be an exclusive tagatron that wasn't that that'd be really cool mm. bangle tiger tagatron that'd be awesome i also i also think we're getting night prowler at halloween I think we're getting night prowler black arachnia and uh, the wasp Nader repaint for halloween oh that'd be cool that's where they were supposed to come out back in what 2004 they were canceled. Canceled. Oh. So we'll get them this year. That's just my bold predictions. Anyway, Cheetor. Do uh, you guys want to start in bot mode since I'm the only one who has been in bot mode? Oh, I, I thought we were going to start in. Um, well, then start in beast mode, mode then. then. Beast mode, and then I could transform it. Okay, so, go for it. You know, uh, having both of these in hand now, I I actually don't mind the regular retail release compared to um, the the Netflix one. Like, I definitely still like the blue, the darker blue better, but I don't know. It doesn't annoy me as much now as, like, what it did originally. So... Yeah, I wish I had my. Uh, I wish I had the Netflix and recompare it, but uh, I don't know. I just imagine that the darker yellow's got to look because it's it's darker and it's a little shinier, right? Yes. Um, it's got to look. It's got to pop a little more. Is it about the same? It's yeah. It's a, it's about the same. Because all the pictures sort of made it look glossy. Um, which I guess he's not necessarily dull um, in the original release, but it, all, it made it look glossy and it made it seem a lot like because um, like the reissue and and the Fox Kids one had a different yellow plastic than the original Cheetor, um, and it was much it was a little darker, it was a little glossier, um, which I sort of assumed as well. Homaging. Oh. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just throwing stuff. But uh, definitely the green eyes. My, my Dinobot right just died. Oh sure no, that's went. not good. He's known to do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> but this is definitely, I mean, this is the stronger of his two modes. His beast mode. Um, you know, the the universe 2.0 they were, is supposed to go for uh, like a, a more like sleek and accurate cheetah. But it looked awful. But this one actually looks really good as a cheetah. And uh, I'm really happy with it um, in this mode. I'm not not happy with it in the other mode. But this one really looks nice. Um, nice and sleek like a cheetah. And, uh, and not funky looking. 
Yeah, I definitely agree with that. It's it's the stronger of the two modes. The cheetah mode is great. He looks like a cheetah. He's got all the spots. He's got all the stuff you want. I don't know. He's cool. And then yeah, you go. and I do think the Netflix one, I mean, the fact that it doesn't have that paint on his shins, like, you know, it looks more like a cheetah, I suppose. Yeah, I imagine it definitely makes this cheetah mode look more cohesive. Yeah, cause because, like, exactly. obviously, in, you know, the regular it, release. And then... That's probably an indication that he never transforms. I was thinking the same thing. I didn't want to believe that. I didn't, oh, man. How did both of us think that? Ugh. 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 Remember a year ago we were excited for the Seed show? Yeah. Now we're Ooh. dreading the Kingdom show. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Now you go to bot mode. He's in bot mode. And we've talked about all the other beasts so far. And we've been like, yeah, it looks like they walked out of the show. They look great. And then Cheetor comes along, and he did not walk out of Beast Wars, the cartoon. I don't know why. I mean, it's not like Air Razor was super easy to translate, but they, they did it for her. Black Arachne the same way. And then we have Cheetor. Like, why was a Cheetah mode so difficult to turn into a convincing robot? Yeah, they definitely um, they definitely sacrificed. This is the only one I really think in the line where I feel like they sacrificed the robot mode a little bit for the, the beast mode. I don't think they sacrificed it too much to where it's like totally unlovable, but no. just compared to the rest of the line, it's a little bit of a letdown. Um. And, it's and I wonder why that was. Shoulders. <laughs> yeah, right. all shoulders. Look at that. I, I, well, I, I guess and the legs. The legs are a little, like... And Okay, so I'm going to go into accessories now, because he comes with this tail whip thing, which this body of Cheetor did not have. Um, but he does not come with his gun, either one of his guns. And that uh, disappoints me. I know there's upgrade kits, and I will partake of one of them to make it work, but that's not... With everything they've done with Beast Wars so far in Kingdom, that it shouldn't be like this. Yeah, he's definitely the most. Uh, he's the most, I guess, inaccurate. Um, and yeah, it's the the weapon. I mean, I, I appreciate that they didn't give him ninja stars, but uh, yeah, he's got Transmetal Two Cheetor's weapon, which I mean, at least it's homaging Cheetor, True. but. Or not Transmetal 2, but uh, Transmetal Cheetor. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I would have preferred him to have at least one gun. Like, I don't need both guns. Um, both guns are definitely clunky. Um, you know, the, yeah. the gut gun, he uses that one a yeah, lot. The, the, the gut gun was sort of his main gun. Um, yeah, it, it feels weird that, like, all the other guys... Like, they sort of went out of their way to make sure that they had, like, their iconic sort of weaponry. Um, and he's the he's the odd man out. Um, but props for the tiny maximal symbol on his head. You know, uh, I, I always kind of... I always kind of wonder, like, the people on the brand team, if, like, they have their favorite characters and not. And, like, when they're planning the stuff out, that they're just like... You know, all right, well, we're going to have to sacrifice one of them. And it's like, well, I think it's going to have to be Cheetor. And they're like, you know, all right, like, as long as we, as long as we make the rest of them good, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and do that. And, and I also wonder, too, like, the Transformers Red, the fact that the, like, Cheetor came out for that already. Like, if they're like, all right, I know that we, you know, we released, like, an inaccurate one, but here, here's a, here's a red one. There you go. And they colored it wrong. Oh, the red one's worse, though. It's so much worse. He's got this evil head. He's alternate reality Cheetor. He's 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 the dark universe. He's like... Uh, there's, your, there's your Shadow Glass Cheetor. I know exactly. it's not the right colors. <laughs> not the right colors, but he's evil. There's only uh, two good characters in the red line, and that's Optimus and... And, um, and I mean good as in 
you know, factionally good, not as executionally good. What's that, uh, what's that episode <laughs> where Rhinox turned into a Predacon? And that's the alternate where Cheetor turned into that Predacon instead. I I want to I want a Rhinox figure that's in those slightly off colors. I, I do I do too. Like it's such an easy repaint. I also want the silver colored Black Arachne from when she was controlling the Flying Island. Oh, definitely. Give me give me that, please. But then we come back to I want all colors. Just uh, yeah. Me, they don't even have to homage anything. Just you know, wacky like universe colors. Like give me uh, give me those silver bolt colors on everything. <laughs> So yeah, he, he he he's a yellow boy, and that's uh, that's what you got. His head actually is fairly accurate. the yeah. The ears are a little bit long from my memory, but uh, you know the face looks good. It's it's fairly okay. I mean, it's, yeah, his head is quite good. I do think that the um, paint in the Cheetor mode it looks you know really nice. I don't yeah, know so... why they chose to have the flap here, like. In the original toy, this this trans you know the flap was had a purpose. It yep. transformed, flipped open on his back. I'm not quite sure why it still flaps. Yeah, it's <laughs> nothing. It's weird, but uh, I don't know. it's That's there. Weird. Well, because it doesn't even really get in way the way of the articulation or anything, so it's like, what's the point? I think someone was like, this flapped on the original Cheetor. Or let's just make it flat. <laughs> it's just a tiny little feet that have ankle rockers, which is cool. They do do it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I will say. I mean, at least he has pretty good ankle rotation. Yeah, and for for the Annas of the world, he also has wrist rotation. He does. There you go. Look at that all the way around. He's got pretty good. I mean, I don't think he's got bad articulation. He's pretty articulate. Um, I'm sure that I will like him as Night Prowler and Shadow Panther. Yeah, I'm hoping he gets the. I don't see. I don't know how they'll incorporate it into the beast mode or into the uh, robot mode. Or no, beast mode was right. Um, but I'm co- kind of hoping he gets the uh, the mutant head um, for one of those releases, just because I would like. To see it. I think the one the biggest complaint about me. I think I would love this toy like a hundred percent, even if it didn't come with a gun and it just had his tail. Is if the these somehow folded in and then fit into his leg, and this was more flush. I mean, that's the only big thing that's ever really irked me about him is that it sort of sticks out like that um, on the on his legs. I think that's the only thing that I really wish they would have, you know, maybe took a little more time to engineer and solve. But I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not, I don't, I'm not disappointed in him. He's he's leaps and bounds better than. Universe 2.0. He's I just mean, the worst. It, it, this very, very good line of figures. Right. <laughs> yeah. And that's a hard place to be. Like five years right. ago, he'd have been like, oh man, it's Cheetor. We love him so much. And now you compare him to you know, the rest of the beasts that have come out recently. And yeah, he's not that great compared to them. But that's just because they're so excellent. Yeah. They're, they're a whole different bar um, compared to him. I mean, I just think his proportions look a little bit weird, like, just with the shoulders and, like you said, like, the legs and all that kind of stuff. It just, it's very kibbly. Um, so. And it's Beast Wars. <laughs> it tore, it, 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 it termed the coin, or coined the term, I don't know why I said turned the coin, uh, coined the term kibble. <laughs> and Cheetor was, like, the leader in that, just stuff hanging off of him. The Cheetor of Rhinox. Oof. Yeah. Oh, Rhinox, man. But, so. uh, you know, if you're a huge Beast Wars fan, you should probably go get this anyway. Um, just on the merits alone, I probably can't super recommend it. It's not terrible by any means, but if you're looking for, like, the Cheetor that is the Cheetor, like the last Cheetor you'll ever buy, at least in this body, um, no, this is not it. I mean, I would definitely say get the Netflix one over the regular one. Um, yeah, I'd agree but, with that. But um, if you're going to get one. So, if you're yeah, range, like, you just buy both of them. Like, do we, like, do we all agree we all that this is the weakest, weakest one? 
Oh, I mean, I don't own any of the, like, uh, of the Beasts, 100%. I don't own any of the G1 stuff to talk about that, but I imagine probably also. Because <laughs> um, they've all looked pretty uh, pretty spot on. Um, I don't know, people hate Ultra Magnus, right? If we're talking only Deluxe no, Ultra Magnus stuff. is fine. I thought I've heard some grumblings about the Ultra Magnus. This is probably better than Paleo Tracks. Yeah. I sort of put fossilizers in their own category because their play pattern is different. Yeah. Um, Paleo Tracks is definitely. The only reason it's a good figure is because it's a fossilized T Rex and because you can com- you know tear it apart and combine it with things. Paleo Tracks is kind of bad. It's, n- it's not a very good figure. Yeah. And I'm gonna own like five of them because or, me know, too, buddy. Every they, there's already like three or four different colors of them now. Because they're all new characters. Should we move on? Let's move on. So this Dinobot, I think, might be one of my favorites of the line so far. And I think it's just because, like, I never really had a Dinobot before. Like, I never got the Universe one. I haven't really experienced the Masterpiece one because Anna didn't get it. Um, or I think she has, what, the knockoff one? Yep. So, uh, but yeah, she, like, I've just never messed with it. So, like, I've seen them from afar. But uh, I had a lot of fun, like, just transforming this and all that. And it's it's a really nice looking figure. The only problem with his raptor mode is his hands. I was going to say that, too. The... I don't know why they chose... I mean, I know why they chose that. It's it's for the the transformation. They do store away rather nicely in robot mode. Um, Mm -hmm. So, you know, I I, I give them a little bit of credit for that. But, yeah, it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a poor choice of like of design because he's just like <laughs> it's a weird guy. Um, but yeah, he's a uh... he's he's unique because I feel like he he does things that other Dinobots do, but then he he does brand new things and um. It's definitely not like masterpiece quality. Like the masterpiece is amazing. Like I think it's one. It's like the best masterpiece in my opinion. Um, but this one is also just such a, a good execution of the character because he was always one of those characters that pulled off. He pulled off the most magic BS when he transformed, yes. and now we have two figures. That are just amazingly accurate to that model um, in ways that I never thought we would achieve because it was always, you know, you'll never get Dinobot because he pulls off, you know, BS. (laughs) And now we have two really great Dinobot figures. I'm going to start transforming mine. But yeah, the Raptor mode, I mean, I think is, is pretty nice and... Um, you know, with the transformation, you can, you know, get like outward articulation, I guess. Um, the, um, ankles, you know, like has pretty decent articulation with the toes and whatnot. So I don't know. I think, you know, really, like you said, the one complaint is the Raptor hands, but it's, you know, with the transformation. So he does have the sculpted leathery skin. Which is kind of cool. It's not the rubber plastic of the leader Megatron, which I right. appreciate. And I didn't like the rubbery plastic there. It's also got some subtle, different colored brown paint on the brown skin, which is a good effect. It's you know what it's supposed to look like, but it, it looks nice. Yeah, he does suffer a little bit of the same thing that the masterpiece does, where to make his arms look right in robot mode. The like upper part of his leg looks a little wrong, um, like the uh, the 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 striping, the the 
underbelly, um, that light brown, is in spots where it shouldn't be. But it's like it's one of those things where you sort of just accept it as a compromise to um, to having like a robot mode that's more accurate maybe than the beast mode. But beast mode is um, it's pretty well executed too. I mean, I think for a $30 figure, that this is about as good as you can get. You know what I mean? Oh, it feels like a hundred times more worth it than Primal. But I think that's that comes back to my, my whole Primal feels like Primal, no matter which version you have, except for the, Cyber, <laughs> you know, the Cybertron one. The Cybertron one is like the one that feels different. Yeah, but every uh... other Primal sort of transforms the same. It's, it's almost the same execution. Um... But yeah, so how do you guys feel about the uh, the somewhat fake chest um, at, at the execution there? It looks nice, so it's fine. I've never had a problem with bow parts, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. Just yeah, it's a three for three there. I, uh, I prefer to look right than to uh than to you know be formed by the exact parts that make it that you know were that in the uh in the beast mode but um you always do this jiggle uh now that you mention it yeah it's kind of a little it's kind of weird right? there i don't know what that's from um i think it's well, i mean yeah, I guess there's just a little bit of play on that joint um, where the back flips up, and because nothing actually pegs in, it just sort of, you know, clamshells around the Dinobot or the dinosaur head. Yeah, uh, it just has a little bit of play there. But he is neat. Um, I think he looks like he walked off the screen. Uh, Mike, will you be able to tell me more? Uh, um, he, is this part his chest part correct? I can't remember. I mean, it's a little, it's a little off. I, I think it's only a little off because they incorporated part of the dinosaur head into it. Um, but it looks pretty close. I would pull my masterpiece out if it wasn't, you know, buried in a box mountain. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it's pretty close. The head sculpt is amazing. The head sculpt is oh, yeah, great, and the great. blue paint they used on it is fantastic. It's exactly the right color. I think the only thing that I wish, and you know, it is what it is. Like, if we had Takara from, you know, ten years ago, we would have a better painted version of this from them. But uh, I just wish some of the like bone features on his legs were painted. Um, like, I would love if, like, Hasbro did, like, a premium line. I'd pay, like, you know, five, ten dollars more for a little more paint. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's, uh, it, I'm sure a lot of people are there, like, just, you know, they're out there customizing it, making it look right. But, uh, I mean, I feel like it strikes a decent balance. Like it's it's something to where that it's it's not as bad as like it's kind of like Hasbro and Takara met in the middle, you know, <laughs> like where it's not as good as the old Takara paint jobs, but it's not as bad as like the old Hasbro <laughs> lack of paint. So yeah, the weird paint on this that I see is the on the uh, rotating sword here. It doesn't actually rotate, but that's like why is it purple? Yeah, I was gonna mention that too, because that's the it shares a flaw, it shares a flaw with its masterpiece uh, counterpart, and that is the sword being like because what for whatever reason the masterpiece it, the sword is like pink, why instead of silver, and I have I have no idea, and then they made be using his, some sort of weird reference image his sword purple and my cons my uh my theory in my head is that 
they made this one purple because the masterpiece was pink, and they didn't want this one to be, you know, out masterpiece the masterpiece. But that's just my <laughs> my brain making things up. Yeah, I don't know what they're using. I don't know what they're referencing for the purple sword, but we have like two releases of this guy with a miscolored sword, and. It's got to be, like, at night with it reflecting inner John around it or something. Because that's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Odd. And the fact that it sort of sticks out of the back of his tail, too. Like, I even would have... I would have been fine if the, like, one, you know, part up here was painted brown. Just so when it's in beast mode, it wasn't purple at the end of his tail. But that's kind of how the the original figure was, too. Well, except for, I guess, the original figure was more close to the color. Um, Besides the sword, though, I really don't have any other complaints about you know, paint. I mean, it looks great in bot mode. Yeah, it's... I mean, like I said, other than the... the I wish there was like a little more detail on the legs for the, the bones, but it's, it's a very good figure. Like, if you didn't have the masterpiece and... You, like, regretted that you didn't have that for, like, um, a really accurate Dinobot. This one is not going to disappoint you. Um, and I'm all for owning this. Yeah. I mean, and I'm I all just, for owning any good I, Dinobots as possible. That's the thing for me is that you know i'm not collecting the masterpiece i'm just doing the main line and i really like this figure like i mean i again like i know it's not it's not masterpiece quality but it's it's a really nice voyager for a mainline voyager you know yeah i'm pretty impressed i feel like they definitely like i'm not gonna say they 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 didn't take anything from the the masterpiece because it doesn't transform anything like the masterpiece but i do think they learned some lessons from the masterpiece at least and and sort of took some of that to heart when designing this um because it's executed very well um yeah it's it's a fantastic figure So apparently, apparently they're uh, debating the color of his sword um, from the cartoon. So they're um, J- Jason is saying that um, there there's some scenes where it's purple rather than silver. So are know. they at night with energon reflecting on it? Maybe. I, that could be. Is Christian right? Yeah, I mean. There was a lot of purple in the in the show for sure, right? Because he energy had everywhere. yeah, there was energy on everywhere. But there were plenty of scenes where he holds it up and he's reflected in it, and it's just a silver sword. It's a shiny chrome silver sword. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll use my Molotow pen on it, make it chrome. Yeah, it's probably not hard to make chrome. I mean. Yeah, I mean, if you go to the wiki, there's a lot of pictures here, and his sword is silver. Is silver with, you know, the the lighting is cast in maybe a little bit of a hue to it, but it's it's silver. Um, it's definitely not purple. It's never purple. If anything, it's closer to the pink of the uh, of the masterpiece than the, the purple we got here, but. I is like this the painted? Theory about that, though. It is not painted. Yeah, it's, paint. it's molded purple. purple? Yeah. No way. You can see where that sort of slides into the hand. Oh, yeah. So it's like they, they molded this one part in purple. This one part. Because there's no purple anywhere else on them. Um, That's so weird. Jason, I'm not sure that you can. I can pull in pictures like into the chat, but I think if you just press post a comment like on it, I think I think we'll be able to see it like in the comment thread of the of the video on Facebook. So, um, 
Oh, uh, there you go. Ron Ron makes a good point that the Kingdom version will probably be purple slash pink, and so then it'll be accurate to the show. <laughs> um, yeah, we have to remember maybe. that uh, that Kingdom might make any of these complaints inaccurate because they are Kingdom figures. I just need Kingdom to show me that Cog survived and is continuing to be the most badass Autobot of them all. <laughs> oh man, I would really love that. I mean, I'm really pulling for Cog that. is the best. He they're, is. That's you know the how they do those three zero the figures, show. and it's like the, they're the three zero figures of the <laughs> of the character models, which are exactly the CAD files of the toys, but they don't transform. If they made one of those three zero things of Cog, I would buy it. <laughs> I absolutely would. Yeah, I I partially the the show did make me sort of want a few characters, um, but I never I never I never pulled the trigger. Um, like I almost bought Alita, I almost bought uh, Scrapface, <laughs> and Cog is one of those. Like he he had some fun stuff in that in that last season, but. Uh, I mean, the I know, Reflector that... is a cool figure overall. Like, the Alita is the best version of that mold. I'm not sure that that mold is all that great, but, like, she actually looks pretty nice in, in bot mode, like, yeah, for the good. toy. But, uh, yeah, if you can if you can get that Reflector or the Scrap Face, like, it's a it's a decent toy. It's, it's pretty fun. So. But... So. I'll never forget Cog going through the weapon scanner. Nope, you, you totally pass. You clearly are made of a bunch of guns, but no, nah, you're you're good, man. Go on through. Ultimate uh, in disguise. That's right, so just go, so you gotta appreciate it. Go to the TF Talk Discord and see Jason has posted vi- uh, video picture evidence. Not, uh, it's not photoshopped at all. We swear. <laughs> if that's the image they're using maybe that's why it was pink on the masterpiece for sure and i did see a couple other pictures where the lighting makes it look a little pink but it's hardly purple i mean look at this that's yeah. uh yeah, it's real purple yeah uh, trying to th- this is like tarantulas purple not not quite but it's close it's close this is it's mega- definitely like inner Johnny purple. Yeah. Maybe he has an inner John sword and it's no longer just like a bone sword or, you know, a vertebrae sword. That's an inner John sword. If this was Netflix series, I would totally believe that. But since it's just mainline Kingdom, I'm not so sure. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, so I definitely recommend that, like, if you're only going to get one figure between these two, definitely get Dinobot. Like, it's. Oh, yeah. By far a better figure. The cheater is not horrible, like you said. It's the weak. Someone has to be the weakest of the wave, and so he's not horrible. But yeah. he took one yeah, for the it's team. It's definitely not a bad toy, but yeah, when you when you stack him up against the rest of his Beast Wars compatriots, it, there's no contest. Right. Which is sad. Cheetor deserves better than what he got. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if anything, Cheetor at least has a a decent original figure like if you're if you have the old um original toys there the only problem with him is he's a little chunky but otherwise he's always had a fairly decent figure so he's not like black arachnia or um air razor or air razor who who really needed a better figure um that's true she has always been pretty good if you don't have the old you can get a reissue later this year yeah, which I'm definitely getting. It'll be like my seventh Cheetor. It's <laughs> okay. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, someone out there would be like, you don't have to buy it. I'm like, you're wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. It's my you don't understand the compulsion. <laughs> It'd be like that. Yeah. I actually what? do, I mean... With the mention of those lines, just just a quick, I do like that they all seem to have slightly different um, 
like colors on them than the original figures. So I'm just like, oh yes, justification. Not only are there reissues, but they're a little different. Like Primal has that weird blue on him. He never had that blue, but he has it. Cheetor's <laughs> darker now, right? Rattrap yeah. is different colors. Oh man. Kind of wish they were just the original colors, but that's okay. Yeah, but I have fun original anyway. colors. <laughs> I know. So you are getting the Netflix uh, Optimus and Rat Trap pack, I'm assuming, right, Swift? Yeah, I'm hoping that there's... Some, I mean, I do know there's a few differences in Primal, at least. Like, like the, feet are, the feet are gray and stuff like that. Um, I wish there was more differences, but that's enough of a difference for me. Um, I won't complain. But... Yeah, I'm 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 buying everything that's Beast Wars. I, you know, if it's a slight variation, that I think the only the only thing I wouldn't buy is like let's say they make a Wave Five and they re-release him, and there's no like running change to it, then I'm not gonna buy another. I'm not gonna buy a Wave Five Dinobot, but if suddenly Wave Five what Dinobots. They- Sword is a different color than, of course, I'm gonna buy a wave. Now, what if <laughs> what if they, what if they re-release him and Wheeljack? Yeah. yeah, and repack him in the next wave. Or next wave. Um, Sorry. Packaging variants not as much my thing. Like, I think the only package that I care about as a a vintage Beast Wars collector is like the rock bubbles. If I if I got a rock bubble, I'm gonna keep a rock bubble, but. Packaging beyond that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I like to set my my toys free. Um, so unless they unless they have actual variants, different colors, or something like that, um, it's the same figure to me at that point. Right on. So I was going to mention uh, More Than Meets the Eye, um, or Book Club is doing More Than Meets the Eye 36 through 38 this week. So uh, check that out on Sunday night, uh, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the TF Talk Discord, uh, where they'll be meeting for that. Yeah, our Master of Ceremonies, Zaldron, he, Randall, I think is his actual name. He's in there. He's posting stuff, whoever posted it. Yeah, no. You won't no, find uh, me there, even though I run the Discord. <laughs> yeah, I I always say that I'm gonna show up, and I never do, just because I I always have other stuff going on on Sunday nights, trying to get everything ready for the week. So, but anyway, um, thank you to everyone in the chat tonight: uh, Jason, Catherine, Randall, Ron. Uh, did I miss anyone else? I think that was I think that was it so but uh yeah so and uh thank you guys for joining me thank you michael for uh subbing in for anna yeah i always talk beast wars but uh and apparently whenever you're, i'm invited that means that anna is is not here <laughs> she told me i was scary that's not that's not nice anna Somehow, no. She will show up if you do the next um, nicey, like wh- whatever the next figure in that line is, right? Are you getting it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I have to show up whenever we do like the magical girl, like Transformers that me and her have been talking about on Discord for a year and a half now, two years. Come join our Discord. It's mostly me and Anna with a bunch of other characters. It's fun. And apparently Jason posted that picture, so that way you can all debate about it in the Discord chat. Yeah, I'm real gonna... evidence. So I might actually have to get Christian there to the Discord. So he's in there. He I'll used visit. to. He used to. I'll visit. But uh, but yeah, no, thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, and uh, there will be a cut the tape this week, so you can check that out, Rick. Rick sent it to me uh, tonight, so there will be something up. So, um, Otherwise, we will see you guys next week. Probably not me. <laughs> <laughs>